Hey there, Libra. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra for the week of December 20th. If this one isn't resonating with you so much, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings. If you happen to be a cross watcher, keep in mind that the energies here could be flip flopped or vice versa. Go ahead and assign the roles as they make sense. Um, if you're looking for a private reading, I won't be doing those this week and next week while I take some time with my family, but I will be back after the new year doing um, private readings. But I will be posting here on YouTube over the next couple of weeks. All right, so here's the overall energy here, Libra. Uh, please like and subscribe while you're here so you don't miss out because I do post weekly. So we have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I do think there's either miscommunication here or a lack of communication here. There's something here that's very confusing for you, Libra. And we're going to delve into that. I'm going to pull some cards for your person and then clarify them as well as for you. We've got the seven of cups showing up, which is confusion. You can see the clouds surrounding those cups. Um, it's clouded judgment. Sometimes it can be confusion, illusions, like not really seeing everything very clearly. Again, I keep on coming back to this idea of miscommunication, a confusing situation. And yet there's also like intense love here with the two of cups. Now this is in the reverse, but the two of cups is my favorite relationship card. It's a partnership. It's having someone's back. It's really being in this with someone. I do think there's an intense connection here. You may have broken up with this person or you may be out of sync. Um, I, the two of cups is very much a partnership card. It's like, we're both on the same page. We want the same things. We're offering our, you know, cups to one another. We're in this together. And there's a disconnect here. I think you're feeling it. I think they're feeling it. We have the high priestess Pisces energy. So I noticed the deception earlier. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. <sighs> I don't know that this person is being completely honest with you, but I don't think they're being dishonest, if that makes any sense to you. The high priestess is more like I'm holding back a little with you. I'm not being completely open. While the seven of swords or something would be someone actively lying to you. And in my mind, at least, there's a big difference between someone maybe not offering up information and someone actively lying to you. That's where I feel there's a difference here. Okay. And we have for um, your Oracle cards, I love you and we will be together again. So that we will be together again, if you're apart, this person I think is actively trying or working towards being with you. I also think that that maybe refers to the two of you being in sync with one another. Um, even if you're together, quote unquote, it maybe feels like you're apart. All right, let's check out this person's energy. Okay, so this is your person's energy. We've got the Queen of Cups showing up here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a water sign, or this is someone with water in their chart. I would particularly check out their moon sign as well as their Venus sign. The moon sign is our emotional center and Venus is how we show up in relationships. Um, this person has a lot of love for you. I also think they're struggling with it. We've got the five of wands in reverse. There may have been some drama or fighting in this relationship, mostly around this person's feelings. Um, maybe they weren't very open with it. Maybe they weren't moving forward in the way that they should here. We also have the eight of wands in reverse. So the eight of wands in the upright is movement in a relationship. It's momentum. Like we're getting further on, you know, down the road. 
uh, we're building this relationship, we're working on it. In the reverse, it feels like things are stuck. It can also refer to a lack of communication here. And I see that as well with the Seven of Wands in reverse. Um, the Seven of Wands is probably in the upright right now with someone being very defensive, someone holding back with you. That's what I feel like the deception here is up about. It's about emotion. Not feeling it, but expressing it. That's the issue. We have the Strength card here, Leo energy. This is someone gathering up their courage it could also be someone who's holding back with you, who's trying to hold on to their emotion. But I don't think that's going to last very long. You also have the Ace of Swords. And that is truth. It's a revelation. It's someone being completely honest with you. So let me pull some cards on that and we'll see what's going on here. I do think you're confused about this situation. I do think they're confused. There does feel like an aura of miscommunication here. Mixed messages. What is going on with this person? Okay. Well, we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo energy. You could be dealing with one of those signs, but I think there's good luck here. I think there's fate or destiny or sometimes divine timing here. I think this person is a part of your path and you're a part of their path. We have the Devil here, Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with the Capricorn but this can also mean like self-limiting or self-sabotaging behavior. Um, this person may have difficulty with expressing themselves or they make themselves unhappy while they try to protect themselves or guard themselves with that seven of wands. Yeah, they've made some head over heart decisions here with the two of swords. They've maybe kept you at a distance. Um, two of swords can be blocking. Uh, it can mean someone who is making very difficult judgment calls here. But we also have the star, Aquarius energy, being wishful, being hopeful. This person's going to get it together. They're going to get past this energy. Let's go ahead and take a look at you. Okay, we have a feeling of stuckness here. There's the chariot in reverse, cancer energy. Again, this is a movement card. You feel like this relationship is stuck or this person is stuck or you're just not going anywhere. We have the moon, cancer, and Pisces energy, things that are hidden. I think you're unsure of this person's feelings for you. You don't know how they feel about you. We've got the four of cups, which this can mean offering someone your love, offering someone your time, and they don't take it. You may feel like this person is indifferent to you, but I assure you they're not. The good news is, is that you have communication coming in the Page of Wands. This is Leo Sag Aries energy. You could be dealing with a fire sign. But again, this is all coming down to like messages and communication here. We have the Three of Swords in reverse, which is letting go of heartbreak or heartache. Ten of Wands in reverse, maybe a painful ending here with someone. Or emotional burdens that you've been carrying around. Or doing all of the emotional labor in a relationship. Sometimes we'll carry someone um, when they're not giving us their emotion the way that they should. All right, let's go ahead and clarify this. Yeah, I do think you're confused here. You're wondering if this person even cares about you. And they do. They're just really bad at talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> here we have the star again. Aquarius energy. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius here. You have every reason to be hopeful here. We have the five of swords in reverse. This is getting on the same page as the person. It's someone being honest with you or ending the conflict with you. Um, five of swords can sometimes mean like some mental anguish here. This is letting go of that. Things are going to get better here. Oh, 
and we've got the two of pentacles. You're going to have some decisions to make about this person, about this relationship, um, weighing some options here. I think this person is going to want to start over again with you. But um, if you follow me into the extended reading, which you can get by clicking on the join button down below, um, it won't show up on iPhone, by the way. You'll have to go to a desktop because there are Apple Google shenanigans going on. But I will pull some cards about this person's intentions, about their feelings. We'll kind of see what they're up to, if they're going to be approaching you and when, all of that good stuff. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And blessed be.